introduction oh i am feeling tired very tired take it you will feel relaxed tina can you guess how many of each glass of orange juice is needed to fill this jug i don't know sam how can we measure the volume children in this lesson we will learn about measurement of volume come along to know objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to identify three dimensional objects define volume of an object learn about the formula for the volume of cube cuboid cylinder cone and sphere hey look at these shapes what did you notice these shapes have three dimensions length width and height therefore we call these shapes as three dimensional shapes all the three dimensional shapes are solids the volume of an object is the amount of space it takes up for example an inflated balloon takes up more space than an empty balloon that means that a balloon that is blown up has more volume than one that hasn't been blown up volume can also show capacity how much a container can hold a bathtub has more volume than a cup of coffee basically volume is expressed in millimeters cubed centimeters cubed and meters cubed in general the volume v of a solid is given by area of the base into height where a is the area of the base of the solid and h is the height let's learn about the volumes of different objects see this is a cube having three dimensions length height and width it is like an empty box and has six equal square sides of the same size how will you measure its volume think first consider this square with each side with the length l next let's change this square into a cube note that all the sides of a cube have the same length l to find the volume of the cube we just need to multiply the area a with l hence by multiplying these three l's together we get l cube therefore the formula for the volume of a cube is l cube look at this closed box this is a cuboid which has six rectangular faces its volume is calculated as height into width into length or simply volume equals to h into w into l a solid that has the shape of an ordinary tin can or a drum is a cylinder the two bases of a cylinder are circular in shape we know area of a circle is equal to pi r square for calculating volume we will multiply area of a circle with the height so the volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square into h wow yummy ice cream have you ever wondered how much ice cream it would take to fill up a cone have a close look at its cone it has a round base which narrows to a point are you interested in measuring its volume volume of a cone is simply given by 1 by 3 pi r square h where h is equal to height of the cone and r is equal to radius of the circular base of the cone what do we call this round ball yes it's a sphere it looks same from every angle isn't it the formula to find the volume of this sphere v is 4 over 3 pi r cube summary let us summarize what we have learned shapes having three dimensions length width and height are known as three dimensional shapes the volume of an object is the amount of space it takes up volume can also show capacity of a container how much it can hold 
volume of cube is equal to l cube volume of a cuboid is equal to height into width into length volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h volume of cone is equal to 1 over 3 pi r square h volume